Oh my goodness, what a special treat we have here. The Firestar Pro Wrestling Training Academy in Greensboro, North Carolina. I am Coach Josh Gary, and it is my pleasure to be bringing you and calling the action here. <laughs> Former Firestar Pro Wrestling Champion Cam Carter, the first graduate from the Firestar Pro Wrestling Training Academy, issued an open challenge to any trainee or student in the back who thinks they are going to be able to step up and prove their worth tonight. And Pretty Boy Lane answered the call, came out to Sweet Cherry Pie, swung his hips, had the ladies swooning. He's got them behind his uh, side. And, uh, you know, so this will be a, a, a good one. Cam Carter, known as the 252 Bad Boy, the Skywalker of Flight, recently made several appearances for Chikara. He is known to not keep it on the mat, but definitely to take it up six feet and higher over the ropes off the turnbuckle. So Pretty Boy Lane has a pretty big, tall order here ahead of him. Comes off the ropes. Say Cam, oh, look at the agility from Cam Carter. Nope, I don't think so, buddy. Here we go, big arm drag. And that's gonna be the difference tonight. Oh, Pretty Boy Lane's got one of his own. Takes him down, covers him, one, two, only a two count. Back up, tit for tat, what you can do, I can do better. Gets him up in there, wow. I think Pretty Boy Lane has surprised Cam Carter about how quick he is. Did a little bit of scouting, of course, Cam being a little bit more veteran of the two. He's got a lot more film, a lot more, I'm going to show my age, a lot more tape to study. And I think Pretty Boy Lane's done his work. Mutual show of respect here. But it just goes to show you the difference in experience that a couple years can make. You've seen things. You know how to counter things. You know how to reverse things. You know the little tricks, just like that. Instead of tying up, I'm just going to give you a knee to the gut. Give me this slight advantage to where now I can have my way. Whoa. Lane with the up and over. Ducks the clothesline. Comes up. Oh, hits him in the back of the head. Kind of caught Cam by surprise. Goes for the cover. Smart move there for such a young man. Take advantage while Cam's a little woozy. Maybe he won't even recognize that the referee is counting. But Cam with that wrestler instinct gets a shoulder up before three. Checking to make sure he's not bleeding. It looks like they're missing a two. Don't want to ruin that pretty face. Oh, Tit for tat once again. Cam says, you want to take me out? I'm going to put my feet to your face. I can get a lot higher than you can, young man. Rolls him up. Only a two. Pretty boy Lane kicking out. He said, nope, nope, nope. I didn't shoot my shot to come out here and lose this quick. You're going to have to do a little bit more than that, Mr. Carter, to take me down. And you see the methodical way that Cam Carter is not wasting energy not moving too fast, taking it slow, making sure that each blow is felt by Pretty Boy Lane. Oh, Lane able to get the elbow up. Cam caught it. A little too concerned about what he was going to do. Oh, Pretty Boy Lane's got a few licks of his own there. And I got to say, for such a youngster here, he is definitely keeping his own with the more experienced Cam Carter. Oh, a little bit of that bravado from the young man. Says, you're pretty, pretty ugly, and then takes it right hand. Oh, Bronco Buster from the young pretty boy. Oh, what is this? Is this, is this the playgirl? Oh, yeah, bearskin rug is the only thing that's missing, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I've been in pro wrestling for over 19 years, and I got to say that the one thing that a lot of young guys and girls tend to do is they get more concerned about the audience. They get more concerned about showboating and it gives their opponent an opportunity to catch their breath and some guys I've seen them lose matches because they've been distracted and I don't think you're going to have to worry about Cam Carter doing that he's been doing this a little bit longer than the young lane here it might come around and bite pretty boy lane and oh back drop countered into a sunset Cam's up goes running in ducks the clothesline again Keeps going to the well one too much. Oh, wait a minute. Tries to go for the hip toss. Rolls him through. Gets him. Oh, wait a minute. Rolls through. Pins him too. Oh, showing the technical savagery of Cam Carter here. A couple of things that he's learned running up and down. The oh, almost a double cross body. Bread basket to bread basket, and that'll knock the wind out of you. One of my favorite sayings is if you can't breathe, you can't wrestle. And that will definitely knock the wind out of you. Both guys trying to reel, trying to recover, catch their breath. 
Usually the guy that gets to his feet first has an advantage here. Let's see, the, both men are stirring. Cam sitting up. Lane used the ropes to pull himself up. Crowd getting behind. I think both these guys, I don't think there's this room is divided. I don't think one person has an advantage over another as far, oh, stiff right hands. Back and forth. You don't want to get into a forearm test with uh, Cam Carter there, young Lane. Oh, misses. Oh. It's like he caught him in the jaw, maybe his back elbow. There we go, that's what I was talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Being more concerned about the audience and not worrying about your opponent and showboating. That's cost men wins early in their career. And that's exactly it. Cam Carter playing possum. Rolls out of the way of the elbow. Now let's see if Cam can take advantage. Oh, big hip toss. Almost took Cam into the ceiling. Now he nails the elbow right in the center of the solar plexus. One, two, three. Oh, that was close. Cam taking the maximum of the two count to catch his breath. Still being able to kick out at three. I will say Pretty Boy Lane is definitely taking Cam Carter to limits. He didn't think he'd be going here tonight. Cam Carter's gone to the, to the limits with talent such as LeBron Cozon, Marcus Cross, Griff, Garrison, and more. James Drake, Austin Theory. Thought he might have had a night off here, but young pretty boy Lane is showing him, ah, I know how to wrestle too. I may not have as much experience, but I can throw punches and forearms. And Oh, nice little kip to the knee. Caused pretty boy Lane to eat that middle turnbuckle. Using the ropes like the savvy veteran that he is. Oh, Spanish fly, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. No, pretty boy Lane kicks out. Such athleticism from both of these guys to be able to flip and soar and use the environment to their advantage. I expected this to be a high-flying affair, but I didn't think it would be like this. And I don't think Cam did either. You see the frustration on his face. Gets him up. Up. Oh, countered out. Oh, tries to O'Connor roll. Yep, gets him. Pins him. Wait a minute. Two. No. Going for a little bit more damage. Oh, big German. Two. Three. No. Cam using the position he was in to be able to flip his body up. There is a fan in the audience who was definitely behind Pretty Boy Lane admonishing a fan for cheering against him. You have every right to cheer for who you want, but you got to keep your head on a swivel around these parts. Tries to go for it again. Cam hanging on tight to that top rope. Oh, big elbow to that ear boxes him up. A little bit of incidental contact, another boot. Both men are just running on instinct now. Oh, big Mitch and Oku driver. Two, three, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. The victor, the veterans, Cam Carter. You know, I had a feeling that Cam Carter would come out victorious in this just simply because of the experience advantage. But young pretty boy Lane, do not hold your head down, young man. You hung with one of the best Firestar has to offer and looked darn good, if I must say so. The coach and me is proud of you, buddy.